Nobody wants to be all by themselves, but sometimes you have to. Today, I'm going to show you how to film yourself. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Amanda Horvath, and I help you use video marketing to grow your brand. If you are looking to use video this year, then be sure to subscribe and click that bell button so you don't miss anything. In case you were wondering, yes, I did get a haircut, and yes, I am standing in my new studio. But I have not set it up just yet, so white curtain background it is. But soon, I'm hoping to reveal it to you guys. Due to the move and my procrastination, I haven't filmed my video that I'm releasing tomorrow at 7 a.m. It's 7 p.m. Don't do that, folks. So right now, I am filming by myself, and I thought, why not give you guys some tips for how to film on your own? Tip number one is to be sure you can see your image. For simplicity's sake, let's start with those people that are shooting on their iPhone. So when I say see your own image, it's going to be obvious that you should likely shoot in selfie mode. Now I have two things to say about this. If you are shooting in selfie mode, it's going to be really tempting to actually look at your reflection rather than at the lens of the camera. So be sure that you're looking directly in the lens rather than at the screen. So this is what it looks like if I'm looking at my screen. That's what it looks like if I'm looking at the camera. The same is on your iPhone. Your audience is going to feel like you're not really paying attention to them and you're paying more attention to yourself and you definitely don't want that. Now, the second note about shooting on selfie mode is that the front camera is not as good as the back camera. So if you want to maximize the quality of your video, then what I would recommend doing is setting up to shoot with the back of your camera and then putting a mirror here so that you can actually see your image. Once again, be sure to look at the lens of the camera rather than at your own reflection. It just started raining, so if you're hearing rain or whatever that weird noise is in the background, then you know why. Super curious to know if you can pick it up or not. Tip number two is to make sure that you're in focus. The big question here is whether you use autofocus or manual focus. I personally use manual focus, and that's because I feel like with autofocus, it can do this weird thing where it goes in and out, and because I'm not actually looking at the screen while filming, I don't know that it's doing that. So the only time that I'm going to know that it's doing that is if I either rewatch all of my clips, which I'm not going to do while filming, but I will do during editing. And if you notice it during editing, it's usually too late. So the way that I do it is I set it on manual. And what I do is because I'm close enough to the camera, I kind of put my foot where I want to stand, right? And I kind of lean forward like this and I focus it. So I'm going to actually pull it out of focus. And then I kind of focus it back to where I'm looking at the screen now. And I can see right about there is where I am in focus. And then I just step back and now I'm in focus. So that's one way to do it. If you're a little bit too far to actually be able to lean back to the place that you are when filming, then another way that I recommend doing this is you just hold out your hand. So like, okay, I'm standing right here. My hand would be right here. Okay, so this kind of takes a little bit of coordination, but the way that you do it, plant your foot where you would be staying so you know where to come back to. Keep your hand here. Take a step closer to the camera, and then what you're gonna do, so I kinda already messed it up, right? So keep your hand here, take a step closer to the camera, keep your hand, keep your hand, and then you can kinda, so make sure your foot, hand is over your foot, and then like that, and then you stand up, and I should be in focus. It's gonna be kind of embarrassing if not, but I think I am. I've also seen other people put like teddy bears or other things like that wherever they're standing or sitting so that you could actually focus on that inanimate object. I just think ideally you're close enough to where you can actually pull your own focus to make sure that you're in focus. Y'all, this rain is seriously getting louder and louder. Go ahead and comment below RAIN in all caps if you can hear it. Now, if you're going to use autofocus, no big deal, it is pretty valuable and, it, and it's going to depend on the camera that you have. 
So each camera is gonna be really different in terms of how quickly it auto focuses. So what I would do is I would run a couple of tests on your camera to see how fast it would focus. So what you do in order to do this, switch the camera to auto focus, and then just kind of move around like this and see how quickly it will refocus. So I could actually do this right now. Flip my camera to auto. All right, so now we're on auto. So I can lean here, I can lean here, I can lean here, I can lean here. It's kind of fun, right? And then just rewatch the video and make sure you're in focus. If you feel like it's catching your focus really well, then shoot in auto. So it really is gonna depend on your camera. I'm personally gonna flip it back to manual. Tip number three is to use tools. My favorite is the Gorillapod. You can use it like a selfie stick, <laughs> or you can even put it somewhere and have it look like someone else is filming you. I did this a lot. This was actually my exact setup when I was at Machu Picchu filming my channel trailer. So what I did was I would put it on the ground, I'd focus it wherever I'd want it to focus. So at one point I was walking up the stairs and I wanted to capture my foot as it hit the rock. So I put my foot down, I focused the camera, I left the camera recording, I walked out of the frame and I walked back into the frame and out of it again. And that's how I was able to film myself while hiking. I also, you can, what's cool about this is you can like wrap it around stuff. And so I wrapped it around this one railing in order to get my hand actually touching the rail and then walking up the stairs. So you can get really creative with this so that it doesn't actually look like you're just standing and talking to a camera. So have fun with it. All right, that is it. Hopefully this was helpful for you. If it was, please give me a comment in the section below. It really makes my day to know that I am providing value to you. And if you ever have a topic that you'd love for me to create a video on, then go ahead and leave that in the comments as well. And if you like what you see here, be sure to subscribe and share this with your friends. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Tip number two is to make sure that you're in focus. Here or here. I think that's fine. Today, nope, that's not what I'm supposed to say right there.